So welcome back ladies and gents. Today I'm sat here with uh, Surf King and General Duma. Basically what I'm going to be doing is uh, showing you this this horrible monstrosity of a ship. Um, ignore the shape, it's disgusting and a, a, a complete sin. However, um, we're going to shoot destroy it at it. this block right now. I'm going to destroy it in the middle in a minute. <laughs> and it, we'll never speak of it again. However, It's an abomination, I tell you. It is. However, it does move and it does shoot. So what I'm going to do is shoot this block of uh, this block here. Yeah. I could get an angle on this, by the way. Good. Hold on. Okay, it's firing. Oh. Look at those bullets. <laughs> it's beautiful, man. However, this sector is protected, so it's not going to do anything. So I think I'm going to just quickly change that. Sector CH mod. Uh, was it 655? <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, minus protected. Boom. So basically we get to see how much it's going to do here. It's a little bit like ballistics gel. You can see as it's removing the blocks. Whoa, those bullets are going all the way. So what are we up to now? Wow, it's halfway through the block already. No, it's like three quarters, three, uh, two thirds, I mean. Two thirds. Oh, yeah, it is actually. Crap, it's nearly. OK, so it's going to break Almost through soon. End. Wait for it. We should start seeing holes appearing. And bullets going off to space. Now we get holes. Yep. Holy crap. Boom. It's through. Look. The whole thing is through. I just realized your bullets are rainbow colored. Yeah, they are. All the colors. Yeah. And this one has overdrive effect. And one block of cannon to make it, you know, cannon for the slave. And the way I've done this is really simple. Um... Basically, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers, and they're all exactly the same. They are all five by five by five with one in the middle for the output. And you see the middle five here. Those are attached to one weapons computer. And then the top and the bottom, they're attached to the second weapons computer. And then we go back down the line. So 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and finally 18. So that's 18 weapons computers, all slaved to one cannon block to give a cannon effect, uh, using every single colour, and all of them are attached to an overdrive system. The overdrive blocks, as you can see, are in the top, like this, and at the bottom, like this. So that you end up getting a nice ratio on the overdrive effect. The next thing what we do is we actually attack it, attach a button to every single weapons computer. And then another button. I did it. I just wanted to not have one button to every weapons computer. So I split it into three groups of buttons. It's unnecessary, but it's what something I did. Anyway, whatever. And then we hook up a button to them, which makes it fire. Now, to give me a hotbar toggle, what I've done is I've put a uh, inner ship remote to an activation block. The activation block goes into an AND, so that when I click my hotbar, it will turn the activation on. And then you take a pulse from a rotating core. So you put a, uh, a, a button on the side of the rotator and feed that into, well, this light and also the AND. So that gives us a flash for every pulse it can fire on. Now, it only actually needs to fire once every three seconds because of the fact it's cannon. Um, but this will just make sure that within half a second of uh, it being off cooldown, it will fire again. And then, like I say, you've got a hot bar uh, just there it says fire. I can click that and it will turn it off. And that is... That was a concept. Whoa! What have I done? 
Mm, there we go. So that was a concept, and um, it works. It works really well, in fact. Um, I don't know if it's going to exist for long, but we're uh, we're we're yeah we're keeping an eye on that. Um, I first did this about a year ago with the shotgun MT3. If you look up in my videos, there's a video called Rainbow Shotgun or something, and uh, and that that was the migraine trigger three refit which I did when they first brought out logic Trun logic activating weapons computers. I remember because it only worked on weapons computers and none of the rest of them at that time. Right, so that's this. I mean, this is just a horrible, horrible uh, travesty of ship design. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to delete it now. Um, but we've got a couple more ships to show you. Uh, we need to do destroy entity dock on this one because it's got stuff attached to it. Another thing as well you can do with this system is uh, you can have that logic trigger fire a bunch of power drain beams so that you actually also get, um, you know, power as well. So you can go over your recharge cap, which is what everyone seems to like. So the next one, let's just spawn in another another target. Boom. The next one is way back over there. So does this have a camera? This doesn't have a camera. Right. So this is the, this is tiny. If you look at the original hailstorm, that's the old hailstorm just there. It's about 300 meters long, whereas this is under 150. And, and like I say, if you see them next to each other, it's considerably smaller. So this is another concept ship. So I'm just going to fly this one up to the uh, target. And we can see General's new build as we fly by. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking really nice, actually, that ship, mate. It's follow it looks just like it is it is just like those pictures that you did as well. Right. Hmm. I need to paint it as well. Right. Uh oh, too much left throttle. Right a bit, right a bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, the brakes. The brakes. The brakes. Yeah. Space. Navigating is hard. Right. Okay, there we go. Right, we'll just line this one up. And then, again, this is a very similar design. It's a little bit different. Instead, it's not very good against advanced armor, because this was the first one. Um, again, it's several weapons computers. I think there's about 20 on this one, maybe more. But the difference with this one is that it's hooked up to all the effects, as you can see in the bottom, explosive, stop, piercing, overdrive, pull, EMP, ion, punch through, push, push, punch through, ion, and, and so on. Different things. And the difference with this one as well is that it actually has a cross pattern underneath. You can't see it because it's pitch black in there, but you can just about see there's groups there, and then there's more groups there. But they kind of, it's like a little cross. But anyway, we'll shoot at this thing now and, and, and you can see. I think. What have I done wrong? Yeah, I'm doing, I've done something wrong. Hang on. Oh, the rotator isn't rotating. Damn. <laughs> Let's get a light up here. It's too dark. Where's the button? Ah, there's the button. No, that's not the right button. It's that button. There we go. So now that's rotating. It should fire. Oh, core overheating already. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Okay, so this is like a sort of Gatling gun style firing pin. That was the idea behind wow, this thing. Wow, not very good at piercing. Though. No, it's not. Because as we know, this thing here is uh, advanced armor. So it has the maximum EHP. So that means each projectile actually has to hit twice. Well, it's so, good at doing area of effect. It is. The effects aren't even hooked up yet either. This is completely off of the cannon system alone. 
it's all set up, but I haven't actually put in the effects yet. So once the effects go in, you'll probably see a difference there. But it's not doing too bad. Like if I go inside the block to have a look at the damage, it's definitely drilling a pattern through it. It's just they're really small bullets, really small. Because again, this was another proof of concept. I just wanted to see whether it would actually work, to be honest. And uh, the whole ship is under 150. Best thing about it is uh, while you've got guns firing like this, you can actually just focus on flying it. So I could just keep keep it, keep the target on. Go down the side of it like this. And also, uh, you can actually, if it's a stationary target, so if you're sieging something, like a station, you can just get out and fly another ship while it's shooting. Oh yeah, try not to get out in front of the thing when it's firing. Oh, wow! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Alright. Send the boarding party! Yeah, send the boarding party. I'm going over for an away mission. <sighs> oh my god. So yeah, it's uh it, it's it's fine to be honest when it'll do it'll do damage. So when you uh team him up with someone who can take shields down, it'll remove a lot of blocks. Which is alright. For a ship that's only one fifty, it's not bad. And it's shooting through the thing, so Boom, boom, boom. Not as powerful as the last one, though, you might notice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so that was fun. Slaving the weapons together. <clears throat> right. And like I say, that would be the uh, Hailstorm V4. I think it's actually V5 and I can't count, but I build too many ships, so what can I say? Okay. It's gone, and so's the thing, and we're going to bring another one in. Because I haven't even tried out the, the target yet with this, uh, with, with, the, with the piece liner too. And this is the naked piece liner, guys. Because um, I made this one to fight General. That's the only reason we made this as a combat dueling ship. It has one big AMC at the moment. But there are, I've got plans for missile pods <coughs> and a shield, um, you know, a shield wall, force field shields, wall shield, all the way down both of those two side pods. So there will be two things. They'll have a defensive ability in the uh, force fields that will open off the hot bar. Um, but then they'll also mainly be for firing uh, ion heat seekers. Oh, no, I'm giving away all my secrets. General's oh, no. going to beat me. <laughs> but this needs a lot of work because if you've seen Peace Liner, you'll know that this is basically bare shell and there's an entire outer shell to go on top of it. I was calling it the Space Cow when I was building it because it's all green and white. But it's actually inspired by um, a cross between a submarine and an oil tanker. With pontoons! Okay, am I in front of the target yet? <laughs> I can't tell, I'm too massive. Okay, left a bit. Okay, um, up a bit. A bit more. A bit more, there, that'll do. Right, there we go. So if I now go into the lead, will that work? That'll work. Okay, ready? Oh, I've got no weapon system. Uh -huh. Lol. Gonna do a weapons test. Got no weapons. Um, they're not attached to the ship anymore for some reason. There we go, fixed it. Derp. Oh, do you know what? I'm gonna also attach it to that, just for the fun. Because there is a light <coughs> there. Lol. Okay, guys, 
There we go. And we're going to be doing more of these weapons tests for everyone's ship soon. I'm just sort of getting used to doing it again. I reckon I need a bigger target, to be honest. So, let's fire the weapons. Fire the weapons! Oh my god, I think you're already through. Am I? I don't know. Just keep going. Let me just focus fire it, because I'm uh, being a derp. Wait, what? I can't tell if I'm hitting it. Hang on, I need a... You're hand. hitting it. There we go! I wasn't actually shooting in the same place. It was just going unfocused. Focus fire! Oh, oh my god. How long shall I, shall I just empty the uh, batteries? Yep. Have I gone all the way through it yet? No. Okay, cool. Because if I do, I'll move to another hole. I've still got like half of the power left. I think I'm having trouble with aiming. Like the aim cone, because I'm forcing my guns to fire upwards for this camera. I probably need to use a camera that's closer. What about... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look, my whole ship's been aiming up this whole time. Lol. Huh? There we go. Oh, and I'm nearly out of power. I'm out of power. There we go. Alright, so let's see what it can do. Well, you left a crater, but... That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a look at the crater then. Wait, what happened to it? Wait, what? Oh, I destroyed the core. I destroyed the core. See, you need a better, a better target. All Maybe I've if left you flip the debris. target the other way around, you know, then yeah. it might stand a chance. Yeah, yeah. I didn't expect it to kill the core. All right.